today is Saturday. Um, I don't know the date. I never know the date. Alexa, what's the date today? December 7th. Um, I have a cheer competition today, so with that, I will be getting ready. So I'm kind of just going to do a little, like, get ready with me type thing. Um, but yeah, also just, like, talking to you guys, because I feel like there's some stuff I want to just talk about. Okay, so the first thing I want to start talking about, um, is school and how school is going. If you don't know, I am a junior, um... And also, if you don't know, which most of you do, junior year is supposedly the hardest year. But personally, hasn't been that bad. And I think one of the reasons for that for me is because um, I took history online over the summer, um, which stunk at the time. But looking back, one of the best decisions I could have like made, um, I took it out of my schedule, so now I don't have it. But I did replace it with an AP class, um, which is AP Psychology, which I 100% recommend taking. That is one of my favorite classes to take. It's definitely not uh, easy, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, we learned a lot of really cool things in that class. And yeah, also don't mind what's going on here because I am nowhere near a beauty guru or anything like that. I just do what works best for me and I'm sorry if it's not right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love AP Psychology. It took history out of my schedule, which helps a lot. Because um, I know that's a really big stressor for a lot of people in my grade right now. Um, I thought sophomore year was harder than this year. And like, I feel like I always think that because sophomore year for me was incredibly hard. I don't know why. And maybe it wasn't like that for everyone. But for me, I was struggling so hard sophomore year. Um... But yeah, junior year's just been fun. I feel like our class has gotten a lot closer this year. We've always been pretty close, but this year especially, I feel like we've gotten uh, pretty close and stuff. And I feel like it's just been fun. I don't know. Um, but also it's only first semester. So I will be doing, I think at the end of the year, like what to know going into your junior year. Cause I feel like that would have been a lot more um, helpful. Cause I feel like there's a lot of things like I would have wanted to know going into junior year. So if you would want to see that, definitely let me know. So things that are coming up that I'm super excited about. One, uh, Christmas. So my school, we have, this next week is our last week of like regular um, school, uh, like a regular school week. But then after that, we have exam week, which I will be vlogging um, that week, my midterm week. Um, which is always really stressful, but it's, it's okay. I'll be fine. I'll live. Always do. Um, exams normally are a big stressor for me, but it's okay. I always study a lot for them because I want to do good. But something that's really cool, which if you didn't see my finals um, <clears throat> vlog, which I can put right here, right here. I don't know which side it'll be on. Um, at the... For my finals, if you have an A in the class, you don't have to take exams. So, but midterms, it's different. Midterms, everybody has to take them. Um, but yeah, little stress for that. But as soon as that's over, it's Christmas time and that's always really fun. Um, and for Christmas, I will be home, but New Year's, I will be in Iceland, which is so, so exciting. Um, I'm really just excited to like experience that and like, um, do a video for that as well because that's gonna be so cool. I am a big travel person. I always love traveling. Um, I don't care where we go um, or what we do as long as we're there. That's all I really care about. Um, I just have a really big heart for traveling and to be given the opportunity to go to Iceland. I really can never live that down. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited for that um, and stuff to do over break. I will be coming out soon. I'll film it probably either today or tomorrow. Um, my Christmas wish list video because I know a lot of you guys were asking for that. Um, so I'm excited to film that. I feel like that's going to be a really fun video to film and also like not be conceited in any way throughout that video. It's more of just like I know a lot of people, especially me myself, like I'm like, what do I even like really want for Christmas? Like. 
I don't know, that type of deal. So I felt like that would be a good way to help out people realize what they really want for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Um, I sound so stupid, but, and look stupid, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, tell me if you guys think this is stupid, but another video idea I was really wanting to do is like, I saw on, um, I watched Danielle Carolyn, um, and she did like a college, what I spend in a week, like what I spend in a week college student edition, you know? But I was thinking it'd be really interesting to do like that, but high school edition. And I know like it's really different because she's in college and in high school, but like, I feel like that'd be really interesting to like see the comparisons and stuff between that. Cause I feel like, you know, it's like kind of terrible and it might help me a lot, honestly, to save money because I spend money very badly. Like I will get um, money from like say babysitting or whatever and then it'll be gone like next week. Cause I'm, and it's not even like I spend it on material, well I do. Not like clothes and stuff like that. My problem is food. Like I'll be like, oh yeah, I wanna get Chick-fil-A this morning for breakfast <laughs> or like Starbucks. Like when I really don't need to, like I have coffee at my house and I have breakfast food at my house. I just feel like going out and getting it. It's really um, not good. Um, but I feel like it'd be interesting to see like how much money I really do spend in a week um, with, between all of that stuff. So if you guys would be interested in seeing that video, um, let me know because I feel like that'd be a really interesting and cool video to film. But if you don't know, at the end of every year, YouTube and Spotify kind of do like their yearly like wrap. Um, so for Spotify, like they'll tell you, um, I'm sure you've seen it on, on all like girls' stories on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Um, but they'll kind of just say like who you most listen to, like what genre, your favorite like songs you listen to. And I just kind of want to share like mine. Um, so my most listened to was The Bahamas. And I feel like they're very un, like, um, what am I trying to say? Like unacknowledged? No, no, not the word. Um, I don't know. They're just underappreciated. They're appreciated, but like not a lot of people know about them. And if you haven't listened to their music, it's amazing. Um, they just have really great stuff and I highly recommend listening to them. But that was my music or my artist for the year and the decade, even though I haven't been listening to Spotify for a decade, but kind of just as long as I've been using Spotify, um, that's what I listen to the most. And they're kind of like my chill music, like what I like wind down to. And then YouTube pretty much tells me like how many like watch hours I got, how many subscribers I gained over the year and um, like how many videos I uploaded. So that was cool to see. Um, and pretty much what they said is I gained 170 subscribers in this past year and uploaded 23 videos, um, which for a lot of people, I feel like 170 like isn't a lot and for a whole year and that's kind of like slow and stuff and yeah but also i am in high school i dance cheer i'm on my like grades sga i do a lot and um plus like i really do like doing youtube and stuff like that and i like being able to um relate to people through youtube and um i don't know like help people out if that makes sense i don't know that sounds so stupid but like um 170 in this year is something like i am proud of and like i do um appreciate and so grateful for and um i feel like this past year was kind of my year of like okay let's do this like let's really like go for it and stuff like that and um my camera just cut me off but what I was saying is I do a lot and I really appreciate the 170. So thank you guys so much. I'm really looking forward to this next year and what it has in store. Um, my goal for 2020, which is so weird. How are we already in 2020? But um, my goal for this year is kind of just consistency. I feel like I'm not consistent, which if you guys like watch my videos, you know that. Um, but that's also because I do have a really busy life. But I don't know. I just feel like I can be better at it. I can manage my time better. Um, and be more consistent in posting and uploading and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's my goal for this year. And I kind of just wanted to share the palette I'm using. I really like this color on me because I feel like it makes my, I've 
blue eyes, so like I feel like it makes my eyes like look better. Um, but I'm using the Naked Heat palette. I got it for Christmas last year and I love it. Um, but yeah, another goal of mine that I'm really wanting to do or get is my, or is a camera. Like a nice, like the G7X vlogging camera because I definitely want to keep vlogging throughout 2020 because that's like my most popular videos is vlogging. I feel like people like to see, because I, I like to see it too in other people's videos, um, kind of just what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, if they have any like cool videos, hacks, like, or not hacks, but like, things they do in their life that they incorporate that um, make them feel better throughout the day or like thrive throughout the day. Like I like to incorporate that into my daily routine as well. And um, I don't know, I'm really interested in vlogs and stuff. So that's why I do that. Um, but also making more sit down videos too, like kind of just having um, the best of both worlds throughout that, um, keeping a good balance between that as well. But yes, a, a camera, is definitely on the wish list for this year and something I'll, I'm wanting to save up for. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.29 a.m. Thanks. <laughs> um, I have to leave my house probably We'll have to be there at 12.30 and it takes me 15 minutes to get there, so I probably have to leave my house around 11.45. No, 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 no. Like 12.15. What was I thinking 11.45? That's not right at all. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention before I kind of wrap up my little get ready with me um, is kind of just how like I got my lashes to be as long as they are. And I know they're not like crazy obnoxiously long, but I used to have the, my dog is barking. Um, but I used to have like, <sighs> Koda. Um, I used to have like the stubbiest lashes and they were so bad and gross and not good. But um, my neighbor is like partners with Rodan and Fields. Um, and she kind of got me onto this lash boost um, serum type deal. You literally just, okay, you can't see it, hold up. You kind of just put it on every night before you like go to bed. Um, it looks like this. And you put it on like, here, I'm sorry. And you put it on like the lid of like the line of your lashes, so that makes sense. Um, and that has helped my uh, lashes grow tremendously in like so many different ways. and. Highly recommend. If you are wanting more information on this, please let me know. Um, I can totally help you get it. And yeah, highly recommend. Okay, so I'm going to brush my teeth again because I already have, but I drink coffee. So I feel like I should brush my teeth again. For cheer, we have to do, I think just a low pony. My hair is like gross because last night I had to do a low pony for dance, but I didn't want to wash it because I was about to have to do the same thing for today. So that's why it looks so nasty. I'm gonna do that now. It will not take me long. I kind of want Starbucks, if I'm being honest. I already drank coffee today, but I really just feel like Starbucks would do me well right now. Slight problem, don't know where my bow is and I need to go find it really badly because I really don't know where it is. Okay, well, this isn't good because I really don't know where I put it. And I don't have an extra. Maybe it's in my car. Oh, gosh. Found it in the laundry room in my cubby. Thank God. Okay, uniform is on. I actually put my shoes on. The bow is found and in my hair. I am pretty much ready to go. We are hosting it at our um, at my school, so I have to be there a little bit earlier than when it really starts. So I should probably leave now if I want to get Starbucks. Yeah. At our competition, the lighting here makes everyone look like terrible. It's just crusty. I know. <laughs> That's what it is. Why is your case Does like this? Else have no, you have no. to have one of my face. Huh? It's about to be a face. Oh, 
<laughs> Addy, Addy, say hi. Keep that shine on top, yeah.